guys it oogs from the us welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my player ratings brentford zero chelsea football club one three point in the pocket clean sheet top of the table you can't really complain and i'm gonna start by the boss himself thomas tuko tuko is going to get 8 out of 10. I don't know really if you can blame him for everything that happened because I knew it. I made a video and I said that we were going to get tired in the second half and we always suffer after the international break. I pretty much predicted everything that was going to happen. So I'm not surprised. Many people were surprised that uh, Bradford gave us a, a very good game of football and almost won, but I wasn't. So, few things that I can really complain about Thomas Tuchel is that he didn't use Callum hassan Adoy, but that is going to be kind of biased because I'm a fanboy of Callum hassan Adoy. So, at the end, we won, okay? That is the most important. He did what he could with the players that he got. No Thiago Silva, no Tony Rudiger, no Hakim Ziyech. You know what I mean? So it was a little bit tough. Um, let's say Rhys James is coming from an injury. N'Golo Kante coming from an injury. And even Manson Mount is not really 100% fit. You can tell clearly. So I'm going to just give him the benefit of the doubt. 8 out of 10. Edouard Mendy, aka The Wall, is going to get 9.5 out of 10. I don't give people 10 out of 10. I wait until we win something before I give everybody 10 out of 10. But Mendy, man, that was a 10 out of 10 performance. Without Mendy, we were going to concede at least 5 goals. Certain goalkeepers were going to make those short, spectacular goals but Edouard Mendy is going to make every spectacular shot a spectacular save level I said everything I wanted to say about Edouard Mendy the best in the world in this moment I don't care what other people are going to say and I made already a video about it um, my match reaction I talked almost the entire video about Mendy so I'm not gonna uh, waste your time anymore because you know who Mendy is, right? Malang Sa, the new guy in town, is going to get 8 out of 10 from me. And that is me being kind here and I want to encourage this boy. I want to give him a chance at Chelsea Football Club. That is my heart talking here. If I have to use my head, maybe he deserves something like 6 or 7 out of 10 I'll tell you why Malang Sa still has a little bit of issues when it comes to relaxing when it comes to the pass you know the timing the weight that he's gonna put on the pass always falls short a little, a little bit and when he put a tackle he turned to stay on the ground and you could tell Chaluba reminding him to stand up quickly and run to his position he need to learn the Premier League and he's learning very fast because you need to grow man this is the Premier League it's not the French League anymore it's not the Portuguese League, league anymore but you can tell that the guy got talent okay and as a whole the defense we kept a clean sheet but if we conceded goals it was going to be a different story many people were going to get on Malang Sa because of uh, he made a lot of mistakes but of course when you win the game and you keep a clean sheet nobody is going to remember everything that happened but me i watch the game from a different perspective i don't watch highlight so you will see certain people telling you that you've been harsh you are clown you don't know anything because they watch some 15 second TikTok. but me i comment i comment games i do watch along I take note and I watch the game again before making my player ratings. So I know exactly what I'm talking about, but 
of course there are so many experts out there malangsa has to learn a lot and that was a baptism of fire he's gonna grow very fast and he really it was a very good welcome to the premier league kind of game and watch his interview after the game he was like oh my goodness the intensity <laughs> the fight oh my goodness but hey well done son chaloba is going to get eight out of ten man the positioning from this guy is out of this world you know the awareness he knows where the ball is going to land he's always there the right place the right time well he got undone a few times just the, like the entire defense and we could have conceded maybe five goals let's be honest here but like i said man when you keep a clean sheet nobody wanna remember what happened but at time we were all over the place we were awful we were conceding a lot of shot on target which is unusual for uh thomas tuchel's team remember that man but of course if you criticize here you'll be in trouble because the tiktok people who always watch that the highlight and just oh uh, what the score one zero or oh, chelsea won and then they make conclusions they are going to teach you a lesson of football but the defense wasn't good at all because the amount of the shot on target that we conceded and without Edouard Mendy, just imagine if Kepa Arisa Balaga was in goal, it was going to be a completely different story. We were going to be giving them two or three out of ten. Andreas Christensen is going to get eight out of ten for the same reason, not because they deserve it, because I wanna encourage them for keeping the clean sheet somehow it's a miracle we were very lucky but luck also is part of for the business he made few mistakes here and there but overall we kept a clean sheet man i can't really complain ben shirwell is going to get nine out of ten he won us three points in his way of course because you don't win a game if you don't score a goal and he did it he can shoot from distance he's one of the few guys in the team that actually can shoot and score you know what i mean so i'm not gonna say much he was offensively solid defensively solid congratulations to chile aspiliqueta is going to get seven out of ten from me to be honest with you i didn't see much from uh from the captain but I said it in my preview, so I wasn't really surprised. If Rhys James was 100% fit and we had other options, I think Aspiliqueta was going to be given a little bit of rest. The international break is not helping anymore because he's called back again in the Spanish national team. And we were lacking people to play in that position and he had to be kind of forced to play, but you could tell that he was physically and mentally very tired. Engolo Kante is going to get 7.5 out of 10. Kante was also physically and mentally very tired, coming from a deadly virus that everybody knows. Man, Kante also was on the field because we were lacking some options. So the next game is going to be a better one, but a 50% Kante is better than many, many players. So Kante was Kante, but not uh, his day, not physically fit to play that kind of intensity. Kovacic is going to get 7 out of 10 from me. Kova was Kova. He was beating the pressure, doing his thing, dribbling people. But you have also to understand that he got a yellow card early on. So kind of uh, dictated what was going to happen in the next, uh, you know, 30 minutes or, or 40 minutes that he was on the field. He got a yellow card before even the 20th minute. Thank you, Anthony Taylor. So you have to understand that when you are on yellow, you don't want to make tackles because it might cost your team. Ah, uh, yeah, he had some some shot, uh, some shot on target that not on target that went to the moon and cover is cover you don't really expect him to shoot you know rare time that he will shoot and score 
and uh, yeah he was topping some balls on top here and there but it just wasn't working really Ruben is going to get 8 out of 10 the first half oh my goodness he was immense doing the Ruben Loftus chick thing but the second half he was given another role he was forced to defend a lot and defensively if you don't see what that guy is doing and then you need your glasses he was saving us in the defense because he's tall we didn't have Rudiger, we didn't have Thiago Silva, we don't have Zuma anymore. How many headers he won in the defense to save us from disaster? Ruben was solid defensively, offensively. I don't care what you think. Romelu Lukaku is going to get 6 out of 10 from me. Yeah, another disappointing game from Rome. 6 games without scoring a goal. And when he started at Chelsea, he only needed like half a chance to score. Now he got like full chances, you know, not like half anymore. Even one on one with the goalkeeper, the guy is missing them. He doesn't do good with his head anymore. But like I told you people, we need to support a player in such a moment, right? This is the moment that he needs our support and not when he's scoring goals a moment like this we need to support him i'm confident that uh, romelu lukaku is going to score in the future but i'm i'm a little worried you know i'm a little worried because we bought him to score goals and can you just imagine if tammy abraham was in front and he doesn't score or he's missing one you know those clear chances that uh, romelu lukaku is missing just imagine he was going to be murdered by now because everybody from the academy, every English player need to be perfect, but other players need time. Timo Werner. I don't even know where to start because I'm gonna sound like a broken record. I can just uh, put my tape from back in the day under Lampard and now it's gonna sound the same. The decision making very poor, always offside, very weak shot when when the shot goes on target it's gonna be very weak or go straight to the goalkeeper no like zero iq in the final third he's gonna sky it you know send it to the to the moon or shoot straight to the goalkeeper he doesn't look when he's making a decision to pass the ball shoot the ball like he will pass the ball when he was supposed to shoot he was in a perfect position to shoot can you just imagine mo salah in those positions with few i don't know how many five six balls that he had in those positions there were going to be goals so i don't want to hear anything i'm gonna support this brother until the end of this season he need really to improve we didn't buy him to be a decoy. I'm sick and tired of all oh, his creating space. Blah, 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 blah. We bought him to score goals. I've been supporting him before even he joined Chelsea Football Club. But I have to be honest at the end of the day. 5 out of 10 and I've been very kind. How many chances are we going to give this brother? Tammy Abraham makes a mistake. For 45 minutes, he's out forever. Kalim Hasunadoi make a mistake for 10 minutes he's out forever and then we're gonna continue to give chances after chances after chances to Timo Werner without any consequence I don't think Kalim Hassan Adoy was going to do worse in that position and it's time for Thomas Tuchel to start using players based on merit subs all of them are going to get five out of ten from me I didn't see any change, no impact at all when they came on the field. I was expecting a lot of a lot of energy from Manson Mount, Kai Harvard, Rhys James. I can understand because he's you know from a bad injury, so I didn't expect much from him. But we were under siege. Okay, we could have conceded three goals when they were on the field and until the last minute. The last 20 minutes were awful, so I'm not going to give them any credit. All the credits need to go to Edouard Mendy 
and the god of football we were just lucky there we go guys that's it from me now it's your turn to let me know what you think about the game and what we should do to avoid this kind of performance in the future next week is the champions league and we have really to improve